Go get her, I'll catch you. First we're going to do the garlic salt and I need to pat some of the leaves dry. Right guys, this is the easiest recipe I'm possibly ever going to show you. So you need some coarse sea salt. You need 800 grams, you need 100 grams of sea salt initially in a blender and um, then 100 grams of wild garlic leaves and then we're just going to blitz that into a paste when I've put the inverter on. So once you've got your nice green sludge, looks a bit like that. And we've just got to mix that now with the rest of the salt. So we're now going to transfer that to the oven. When I'm going to put the oven on, it's just somewhere for it to dry out. But, um, yeah, Ooh, that is lovely. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, I'll have to let you know how this, this goes. Um, Shell's just gonna check the wild garlic salt. Looks amazing, nothing else. Yeah, that's dry. It's definitely changed the, uh, the doobie on it. Yeah. Yeah, what? It tastes garlic. Nice. Lush. <laughs> Lush. Lime green slime salt. Hey guys, so welcome back to the Chris and Shell Wild Garlic channel. <laughs> you might say hello then. Oh, right. <laughs> hello! Welcome back to the Chris and Shell Wild Garlic channel. Hello! Um, so, today we are back in the galley. I'm going to decant the wild garlic salt. Um, I've just sterilized and just air drying the container that's going to go in. So the wild garlic salt should last for about 12 months. I've read anywhere between 8 and 12 months so I don't think it'll last that long. Um, we've just had a taste test and we're happy with it. So definitely give that recipe a go because that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Today I'm going to do hummus um, I'm going to have hummus with our hot pot chilli. On the boat today we have the lovely Michelle who's working, I was going to say working very hard, <laughs> but she's working over there. <laughs> uh, Luna, Luna, here's Luna, what's that, what was that then? Oh, this is a good girl. So we've got all the assistance we need, I'll crack on. And all these recipes, or I mean, yeah, all these recipes, I'm gonna put in a blog post on the website. I'm not sure when that'll be up, but um, hopefully in conjunction with this video. So if you're interested in making this and you want a bit more depth to the ingredients and the how-tos, it shall all be on there and There'll be some wild garlic illustrations from my esteemed colleague, nay, my wife, my partner of nearly almost 10 years, Shelley Beanbags. 
So I'll have my coffee and then we'll crack on. And we're going to boil them and soften them up. So these are just upstandard chickpea tins from Aldi, cheap as chips. So just while the um, chickpeas are boiling up and softening, I did a touch of ground turmeric in there just to give them a bit of colour and you can't have enough turmeric brilliant anti-inflammatory um, as we're doing that I'm just going to prep the chilli going to let you into a secret now yep liquid smoke doing any barbecue-y kind of flavours liquid smoke. Can't recommend it highly enough. Okay, we boiled the chickpeas. We're steaming up. We're now going to add, we're going to drain them and add them to a blender with the other ingredient. Awesome. Time she tell me about filming and stuff hanging up. You take down your towel and leave up. The dog towel. The dog towel. Yeah. We are scruffy voters. Told past bad though, isn't it, in the minute, perhaps? Very bad. Just Very keep muddy. getting covered in mud, don't we? Battling with the mud. And the mud's winning right now. Yeah. Spring's nearly here. As some of you may know, we are Teacher. on an artist journey. We're trying to learn new skills all the time, try different things. So let me just show you what Shell's just done today, because <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so just explain what you've, uh, what you've been doing today, perhaps. I'm learning how to do an interactive PDF. Right. But I'm learning how to do buttons, so you click on something and then it'll either take you to a page or blah de blah de blah. So yeah, I have done a button. Alright, so let's just have a look at this. Hang on, let me see if we can get this on. Alright, so that's the button. The other thing's the button. Yep. Alright, go. <laughs> you know, really serious stuff. <laughs> Let's just, just do it again. I'm not, not quite sure we caught that. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yep. So you've just opened this yep. as a client. Yep. You know it's interactive, so you're just about to press that button. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I'm going to do a Batman and Robin one now. A Batman what? and Robin one? Yeah, like pow pow, bang bish bosh. Bang, bang, bish, bosh. Yeah. You know, like the cartoony... Kapow. The kapow things, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do next. Cool. Sure. Yeah. I speak for everyone. I want to say, I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> yep. I know you can't contain yourselves. Just that little bit longer. Let's go straight over to Shell in the office. <laughs> You got an important update for us. I've now done my Batman Robin button. All right, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, I can see what's happened there. And then, oh my lord! <laughs> what does that say? Kapow! Let's just do that again. Run, run it again. Run it again. Go. Wow. That is awesome.
awesome. Skills to pay the bills. <laughs> what are you going to do next? Uh, I'm going to put... I'm going to learn... So they're quite basic. I want to try and do something a bit more complicated. Yeah, well, well. Quite basic. <laughs> I'm just learning how it works. That one's still my favourite. <laughs> you is daft. I know. That's enough of that for the day. There's nine. Nine dotlets. Nine male mallards. I have seen that before. Walnuts, we got the last of the wild garlic. Drain. So yeah, we got the last of the wild garlic, which is smelling smelling ripe. Yeah, the uh, wild garlic's gone off. Crikey! Yeah, so I haven't had time to uh, do this recipe until now, and yeah. Dang! Dang! And he still owes me wild garlic pesto. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you've made anything with wild garlic, um, with the recipes that we've not shown you today then please put in the comments below always handy to have um, hope you've enjoyed this vlog join us next week uh, when we talk about spring boater's favourite season I'm so glad it's here it's been a mild winter hasn't it but um, I'm glad spring's here so that's all I've got to say apart from take care, love yourself and stay afloat bye bye <laughs>